looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to be going over quite arguably the best set in Madden, guys. Known best set. Always the best set. And based on this set, guys, there's a lot of ways to go with this. As you do know, there's typically like three methods, give or take, that you can end up doing with this. If you've been following the channel for long enough, you do know more or less what I'm going with this. But, guys, we do have another one. We have the playoff master set for John Abraham. Now, John Abraham, this set's not like the rest, guys. This set might be the best one we've had all year. And there's a few reasons for that, which I will get into as we do get into the video. But first and foremost, if you are new to the channel, subscribe, comment down below, turn on that noti bell, come join the family, boys. Let's start getting the momentum back. You know, we haven't gained subs in a while. You know, it's been, like I said, it's been a rough last two months. Let's get the channel back and going, guys. If all you watching right now, all the loyal supporters, the 500, 600 views, if all you guys start liking the video up again i know i know you, you just hear and you chill and you forget it's okay i'm cool with it i forgive you but if you're here smash the like button if we can get 100 likes in this video and every one of you watch could like this video guys it can go a long way and kickstarting the channel back up and getting the poodle family growing again so everyone watching like the video and if we can keep this up as a trend guys maybe we'll add some giveaways to it like you guys know the deal but if you guys do need coins for anything head over to mutt reserve down below use code poodle for 30 percent off you're gonna need coins uh there's a lot of stuff coming out playoffs team of the year so on and so forth so make sure you are keeping up with that but but again by the way let me know how the mic sounds don't let me know in the last video let me know how the mic sounds i got the new mic let me know if the quality sounds better i'm super excited i've been enjoying using it honestly but anyways enough of that let's get to the set so the set that we're concerned with like i said is the john abraham nfl playoffs week one master set now this set's not like the rest and why why you why you may ask three simple reasons typically when we do a master set it's a good value may not always give you the best players this one gives you three meta players. Start with Josh Allen, right? Because you get all three of them back as Nat, right? So Josh Allen, 275 here. He is going to end up having 89 speed, all throwing uh, thresholds, and 99 throw power. He's going to be a meta quarterback. Now, I heard he does not get Hot Rod Master, but again, if you're not like a... Again, not, not everyone knows how to properly even use Hot Rod Master, like how to make route combos and do all that stuff. So if you're just a generic player, like you just want the best players, Josh Allen's going to feel like a meta quarterback to you. He will get Gunslinger and all that. And he's super fast. It'll be like Vic if Vic could throw better. I mean, obviously, Vic has the throwing acker. He has the throwing thresholds now, but he's not a strong arm quarterback, so that still hurts him in some aspects. So again, if you want a pocket patch that can take off, and people don't, because that's the thing, people expect Vic to take off, so it's not always as fun to use him because people know it's coming, so they don't, they just prepare for it. Josh Allen's the kind of guy where they're gonna be playing back on him. You're gonna get some big holes that can really extend downs. Next guy, we got Mar uh, Marcus Peters. Sorry, I almost said Marlon Humphrey. Again, another meta guy, powered up and chemed up, will have 96 speed, 99 man. All you need to know, all threshold corner with 96 speed cannot go wrong with uh, Marcus Peters. And T.Y. Ty, Ty, uh, Hilton, I almost said Ty Hilton. Uh, usually the thing is here, there may be one good player, maybe two if you're lucky, but we've never had three. Three usable, not even three usable, three meta players. T.Y. Hilton will have 96 speed, all, all the route running thresholds, all the catching thresholds powered up and camped up, and a route runner uh, archetype. He is arguably one of the best receivers in the game, maybe the best speedy receiver in the game. Definitely a top three or four right now. Maybe even the best. Like, I, I, know, I don't want to go that far because we have Moss and a few guys. But you guys get the point. Point being is, you're getting three meta players. You can't you can't discount that, right? So, how to do the set, guys. You know the deal already. So, we start by adding them all up. More than, more, more or less, they're going for about 270 right now. But remember, you never, you never buy them at face value. Ever. You can get them all for about, I'd say, 260 right now if you try to snipe them. Even 250. I mean, let's go with 250 here, because obviously if you wait like five to ten minutes per player, you'll find them for 250. So 250 times three is going to be the price of these players here, and then we do have the 91 to 93 overall playoff player, 50k. So we're looking at about 800k. 800k is going to be our starting value, so keep that in mind. Now we just go check out the John Abraham set and go back and check all that out. So let's head on back. Let's go check that out because we're gonna have to see how much the set uh, master actually goes for to do our math here before we get into everything. So let's go. Let's see, 96 overall, and we can sort by playoffs to find them rather easily. I'm going to sort by newest first. We may, oh, no, we have to find the exact price. So hold up, 96 playoffs. And here we go. Okay, so 491. So we're, we're going we're gonna to figure around a 500K is where he's going to sell right here. You can put him up for that. After reduction, you're left with 450. So we have to subtract the reduction because, of course, people forget to do that, and that's a big part of it, especially at this price point. 500K is a lot of coins. So, I mean, uh, 500K is a lot of coins, so you're going to be losing a decent amount of uh, reduction, which is 50K. So 50k, so we're looking at an 800k set that you get 450 back on, right? So let's start there. First and foremost, the solo challenges over here. Again, not confirmed, but I'm going to rock with it because I'm pretty sure it is. But again, if it's not, we'll, I'll give you guys two sets of math here. So first off, you guys will play the NFL playoff celebration. 
and you go all the way down, you see that you get your NFL 95 overall Nat NFL playoffs player. So you're able to get a free 95 overall, and I'm pretty sure it's a fantasy pack, which it does mean you can go ahead and pick one of those players. Now, again, if it's not the case, I will do the math again. I'm going to give you guys two forms of math in case. Now, moving on over to the set, right? So that's a free player. So we have to, we get to subtract here. So let's go back to the set. We're going to have a few methods here. I'm going to keep them short and simple for you guys so we can get through it. John Abraham set right here. So you need three of them, and that player says, so okay, we get one of them for free. So you subtract 250K off because that is what we priced them at. 250K. So the set costs you 550K now. So if you complete the set, okay, let's start method one. Method one is you sell the master. So remember, 550, if you get a free player, make sure you pick one of them. 550K is what this set will cost you. So you do the set. So you're 500, 550K in the hole. You have a 96 overall master and three 95 overall meta cards. Honestly, for 550K, that's a great value. But let's just say, you know, our coins like that, right? Your coin stack's running low. You sell John Abraham, you put him up on the block, you get 450 back for him, subtract 450 off the total, and you're sitting at 100K. It costs you 100K to complete the set. So you now have Josh Allen as your starting quarterback meta. Marcus Peters is one of your three cornerbacks meta. And you have Ty, T.Y. Hilton, Jesus. T.Y. Hilton as a wide receiver, one of your three, and they're all depth positions, right? Wide receiver and cornerback are great players to have now because they're depth position. And then quarterback's the only one that's not, but he is going to be meta, and he could probably last for a while because he has the 99 throw power and the threshold. So you're really not, you don't have to upgrade in, in the near future. So for 100,000 coins, oh, like right now, I could do the set technically only one though, because remember, you only get the free player once, so you can't keep doing it for that price point. Now, guys, had you not gotten the free player, you add back the 250, you're looking at 350K. It will cost you 350K to get three 95 overall NAT players. Now, again, if you really think about it, that's still a good value, right? So 350K, and one of these cards costs you 250 if you snipe it. So for an extra 100K, like, let's, then this is what I always tell you guys. If you want to just get one of these cards, right? Like, you're like, oh, I'm a Bills fan, or I love Josh Allen, or I, I love Marcus Peters, and you're going to get him, just do the set. For an extra 100K, you're going to get Josh Allen and Tua Ty, Ty Hilton. It's like, it's like a cherry on top. It's like a buy one, get one free, and you just forget to redeem the coupon, right? Or a buy two, get the third one free, or buy one and a half. You know, one of those things, the highest price item kind of thing. So take advantage. Now that's method one. Method two, I'm not going to go into method three anymore because I'm taking a method three out of the system because with the way they do quick sell values and stuff, it kind of hurts the system. They don't give us good rerolls. But method two, this is where you keep all of them. Simple as that. You keep all of them. So now you end up with all of them, right? So it costs you 550K to the set. You keep all of them. So either A, 550K to do the set, and you have John Abraham, right? And you have those two players. You have a whole, a good corner, well, meta corner, meta wide receiver, meta quarterback, and a meta pass rusher. And I believe it comes with this power up. You're set, right? You have everything for only 550K. If you have a few million coins, like, just let it fly, right? Now, let's say you're a God squad, and you already have three corners. Like, you have Dion, Woodson, and Sneed, right? You can't use Peters. It's nice to have him, but you already have three guys powered up. You don't want to go through that process. So what you do is you quick sell... Uh, Marcus Peters, of course, see the value, make sure it makes sense. You quick sell them, you take the training. Let's say it's a good amount of training. You take that and then maybe put it into the Redux right now, the 86 plus Reduxes, and you go ahead. That's it. Let's say you only wanted, so you did the whole set, but again, you get the one free, right? So with the one free, you end up selling Marcus Peters. You keep TY, you keep Josh Allen. Let's say you get a 50K worth of training, 6K worth of training, you subtract it off the top, and now it's only 500K. And you, and, or even another method, guys, remember this too, in, in, within method two, if you want John Abraham anyways, like you're like, I'm buying him, I'm a Jets fan, I'm a big John Abraham fan, I want him. Instead of going ahead and being dumb and just buying him off the block for 450K to 500K, 500K actually, because that's a reduction. Instead of buying for 550K, 500K, sorry. Why not just go ahead and spend the extra 50K and get all three? You know what I mean? Why not go ahead and do that? Remember this, the set will cost you 500K to do. 550k sorry 550k to do why buy them off the block when you could just go do the set and you get three free players with it right so for an extra 50k so just remember that right so that's pretty much method one and two guys that pretty much wraps up that now remember if you don't have the free player let's all let's alter the math if you don't have the free player the set costs you 800k so it'll be 800k for three players and that's honestly still not a bad value 800 so like you can spend right now on on some meta players three 400k a piece so Two meta players would probably cost you around 700k right now, like a Randy and a Dion, let's say, right? Maybe more 800k. You're able to get four guys here for 800k. Four versus two. So you're still getting double. You're getting a value without the free player. And when you get the free player, it's like a game-breaking value, guys. I highly recommend you take advantage. And remember, always check. The math will change. By the time you're watching this video and doing it, Josh Allen may be 230, right? 
So you're like, oh, well, this math doesn't, well, yeah, guess what? It's cheaper, but it's not exactly, guys. It's usually in a ratio. Remember that sets are usually in a ratio. So Josh Allen might go down 15K and all of them will go down 15K and you're like, oh, wow, the set's cheaper. Not true. Because now John Abraham, or might, you may be watching like, wow, he said John Abraham's 500K. He's only 380 now. Well, yeah, he's 380, but Josh Allen went down 30K. Marcus Peters went down 80, uh, 30K and so did T.Y. Hilton. So now the whole set's down 100 in value and, you know, John Abraham's down 100. So it's going to stay within a ratio. Or again, if, if uh, Josh Allen goes up 30K, John Abraham probably goes up 100K because all three of them go up 30 and the final player. So that's kind of how this works, but pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Take advantage. Let me know down below what you end up doing. Do you keep all of them? Do you sell the master and keep the heroes? Or do you just go ahead and you quick sell some of the ones you don't want? Let me know what you end up doing below. Let me know how much training you guys got out of it. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, comment down below. This did help you guys, like I said. If all you loyal viewers that watch every video just hit that like button, it would make the world of a difference for this channel. You guys would be self-driving it yourself. Like I've been telling you guys, I know I've been asking for likes in a while. I've been just kind of chilling with it, but the channel is a little lowly since the computer and the whole COVID thing really slowed me down. So if you guys are true supporters here, all you got to do while you watch is like, it takes a second. You just like the video. I'll give you some time. And there you go. You liked it. Thank you so much. And that's going to help a lot, guys. We can get this channel rolling again and really keep putting back into this. I'm sorry for, like I said, the lack of effort in the last few months. I said it's just been rough, but we're getting back into it. So hopefully we can keep reviving it. Yeah, that's about it. Subscribe as well if you guys are new. Let's keep getting that going. I promise you there'll be nothing but fire content from here on out. But that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you guys need coins, head over to my reserve. Use code Poodle for 30% off. And that's it. There should be a third video today, so stay tuned for that. I will be opening up 10 Redux player packs. If this video gets 100 likes, I have the 70k training ready. I'm going to do 10 Redux player packs. The new ones are really cool ones. See if we can pull some heat. But that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.